Hey y'all, this is Church of Caboose, and uh, this Destiny video, we're covering a new ritual weapon for Season 9, aka Season of the Dawn. And normally these ritual weapons, formerly pinnacle weapons, can take quite a bit of time to acquire, lots of grinding, lots of frustration, but I managed to kind of test out a theory and figure out a way to earn this season vanguard weapon the vanguard ritual weapon the buzzard sidearm in about an hour you could possibly get it in under an hour so just make sure you follow my tips and uh you guys should have a great time getting this thing and doing it way faster than other pinnacle weapons and uh, ritual weapons in the past but before we get into how you do this whole little shebang we're gonna take a look at the perks so that way you don't get to the end of the video and you're like well damn church I don't want to get this good anyways because the perks suck. And you can see them at the beginning. And thank you to my lovely wife. She joined me for this whole endeavor and was okay with me bailing on her more or less in order to make this video for you guys. So I appreciate it, my, my dear. Now let's take a quick look at the perks for the Buzzard Vanguard Ritual Weapon Season 9 Sidearm. So here is the Buzzard Sidearm. I actually have been really enjoying this perk are this this weapon for the most part it's got pretty standard uh perks you, like, you got adaptive frame you got an extended barrel then you got alloy magazine which is uh you can reload really fast when you're completely empty and then you have the options between outlaw which is precision kills greatly increase the reload speed and four times the charm which is landing two precision hits rapidly or return two rounds to the magazine so like those are pretty standard. The one I love the most is Osmosis. This is a brand new perk to season nine. Basically, whatever subclass type you're using, if you throw a grenade and do some damage, your buzzard will now have that damage. So, and I find this really useful for the high end events. So say you're doing like a 980 nightfall, 980 nightfall, and you are using your subclass to match the burn, and you are using your weapons to match the burn, and your subclass to match the shield. We'll throw a grenade, and your buzzard now can take out all of those shields until you stow it, because it'll have the burn. And it's super duper useful. I loved it. So to answer the question of is this weapon worth the grind, I would totally say yes, especially because the weapon is attainable within around an hour. Depends on like how dedicated and used to Destiny you are, but it's about an hour. Now, how do you get this weapon done in that hour time frame? Well, first and foremost, make sure you guys are picking to do a legend nightfall master nightfall would work as well but since masters are recommended 980 i would suggest you go with legend now why legend first and foremost is because legend is the very first option where you do not have matchmaking because if you are matchmaking and your teammates are not doing this whole strategy you could very well get pulled around and this strategy will not work as as efficiently as it has for me that's why you need to pick a legend nightfall legend nightfall is the key the next Next thing you need to have is uh, you need to have the nightfall be on an area where you are able to go away from the actual nightfall activity and go and access the rest of the planet. Um, so for example, if you do Mars, if you have a nightfall on Mars, this strategy will not work that well just because Mars, for whatever reason, doesn't really let you do anything else other than the nightfall, but like ones on the Earth. The ones on the blind uh, on the Dreaming City, you can leave that nightfall area and access the rest of the planet. So make sure whatever nightfall you are doing is on a place like the EDZ, the Dreaming City, or somewhere else where you can travel and get to the rest of the planet. Because that is the key, guys. Just like the edgewise, the loaded question. Basically, every PVE weapon this strategy works for and especially with the sidearm for whatever reason the legend nightfall aspect seems to increase the rate that things are accomplished because of the percentage basis also if you happen to be doing this uh weapon long enough into your season rank progression you will have probably unlocked an ability where you complete quests faster so doing these all for these percentage things because the percentages are the majority of the quest line for the buzzard this strategy works really well now what is the strategy if you haven't figured it out by now basically you load into a legend nightfall you'll leave the area like you like you just walk or drive and just go wander around the planet and kill shit 
That's, that's literally all it is. Just go around the planet, kill stuff. I would highly suggest trying to go to areas that you know there could be wars. So the Tross Land for the week of December 10th works really well. When I was there during my approximate 55 to 63 minutes, we had three wars occur between the Fallen and the Cabal, which greatly speeded up the progress for weapon final blows, the airborne final blows of the sidearm, as well as the activity points. You might be thinking to yourself, because I thought to myself, well, Church, don't you have to complete activities like strikes in order to make progress on the activity portion of the quest? Well, as of December 12th, as I'm recording this, no. Just killing enemies appears and did work for completing the activities points of the quest. I don't know why, you would think you'd have to do patrols or lost sectors or strikes or something, but for whatever reason, just killing stuff worked really well and I was able to accomplish all three steps of the the buzzard sidearm quest now what sidearm should you use well really any sidearm would work however if you happen to have the last hope that happens to be one of my favorite sidearms because it is a three round burst and so it holds more rounds you don't have to pull the trigger as often so your finger isn't like going nuts on your controller it's just more enjoyable to use but that's my preference another good option would be the breach light or whatever the saint 14 themed sidearm is and you can acquire that sidearm i believe it is from the tangled shore obelisk so if you get the breach light great that will work as well you also have a chance of being able to get it or unlock it from completing the sundial activity so there are two sidearms i would suggest you use if you have the rat king that'll be fine but any sidearm you have will be great so let's go to a nightfall run around the area kill stuff don't actually do the nightfall make sure you do a legend nightfall so that way if you're doing this by yourself you're not matchmaking and people aren't pulling you all over the place and you should be able to get the buzzard sidearm the season 9 or ritual or pinnacle vanguard weapon in an hour or less all right guys thank you so much for watching i hope this video helped y'all out if it did i would love it if you slap the like button share this video to your friends so you guys can all get this sidearm done really quickly and subscribe to my channel if you want more information because i always put out guides and reviews and tips and tricks as i find them and test out my own theories or learn things from friends i am church of caboose have a great week and happy grinding y'all